Ow! Oh my god! You all right? I can't feel anything below my neck. I can't move a muscle, guys. Oh my god! Joe's completely paralyzed! Oh, that's me. That's unfortunate. That's Lois. Hold on. Hey, babe. Uh, good. Little hiccup, but fun. You guys, I've been trying to keep my birthday a secret. No, Dr. Hartman, we're not here for your birthday. We're here for Joe. Don't sugarcoat it, Doc. Just give it to me straight. Well, Mr. Swanson, I did an exploratory procedure which revealed extensive damage. Please, just tell me. Am I completely paralyzed? I'm afraid of ghosts. And yes, Mr. Swanson has lost all movement and will require around-the-clock care. Most of it disgusting. Oh, my God. Bonnie, I'm so sorry. If there's anything I can do. There actually is. Could you collect my mail forever? I'm leaving Joe and moving to Europe. I didn't sign up for this. Buddy, wait. God, this is awful. What am I going to do? Well, seems like you folks have this all taken care of. Surprise! Oh, you guys! Hey, don't go in that room back there. It's, like, super sad. There you go, Joe. All settled. Now, which wall would you like to look at for the rest of your life? I don't know. Maybe that one. I, I have no idea what you're pointing at, Joe. You gotta meet us halfway. Look, guys, I don't want to be a burden to anyone. You go ahead and live your lives. I'll be fine. We can't just leave you, Joe. So before we go, I'm gonna put the remote in your mouth. Here's a can of chili. And the opener we'll put in your mouth. And here's a magazine I thought you might like to read. I'm gonna put it in your mouth. <laughs> Joe, I just wish we could do more, but obviously your mouth is full. And you probably don't want any reminders of Bonnie around the house, so I cleared out all of her underwear. Okay, don't be a stranger. Yeah, because we're not supposed to talk to those. I don't know. I'm not sure I feel right about leaving Joe. Doesn't seem like he's going to be able to take care of himself. Yeah, we're, we're kind of all he has now. What, Joe? What are you talking about? He's fine. Look, he's already watching The Price is Right in there. Hi. I work here. I don't think this guy works here. Hi, can I help you? Yeah, this is Joe Swanson. We arranged for a 915 dump off. Go on, guys. Get out of here. I'll be fine. Bye, Joe. Take care, man. See ya, Joe. Hold on, guys. There's one last thing I gotta say to my friend. Hey, Joe, you know that movie you told me to watch that you said was your favorite movie of all time and you said I had to watch it? Draft. You finally watched it. Yeah. Wasn't it great? I thought it was stupid. Take care, Joe. You know, that, that state home we left Joe in didn't seem so bad. Yeah, it's got to be good. I mean, Napoleon Bonaparte was there. Would the French people let their boss walk around in stained underwear trying to stab people if the place wasn't nice? Yeah, no, no, no you're right. You're right. Joe will get much better care there. I still feel bad. Come on, you guys. Joe's going to be fine. He'll fit in great there. Not like when I went to Hogwarts. There you are. Where the hell have you been? I got arrested for hucking a TV VCR combo off the dam. Off the dam what? Off the dam overpass. <laughs> God, I love you, Lois. That was like great sex. But seriously, it, it was bad. It hit a school bus. Oh, my God. What, what, can you go talk to Joe? Uh, maybe he can put in a word for you down at the police station. Yeah, yeah, Joe. Yeah, ma yeah maybe. Maybe. Do you, uh, you, you want a back rub? Peter, what's going on? Uh, what do you mean? Whenever you offer me a back rub, it means you're hiding something. <laughs> you, uh, you, you want a back rub? We may or may not have put Joe in a smelly home for the goofy. What? Peter, those places are a horror show. Joe's your friend. How could you treat him like that? We just couldn't handle him being fully paralyzed. We didn't know what else to do. But you're right. We gotta get him out of there. You most certainly do. All right, how about that back rub now? What are you, nuts? <laughs> Hi, uh, are we here to pick up Joe Swanson? Are you from the news? You have to tell us if you're from the news. No, we're his friends. What are you guys doing here? We came to bring you home, Joe. We're all really sorry we abandoned you. Yeah, we just kind of got overwhelmed and all freaked out. But we're your friends, Joe. And we'll always be there for you, no matter what. Thanks, guys. I'd say let's get my stuff, but it's all been stolen. That's okay. Come on, let's go home. Sorry, no one gets out of here without a release from their doctor. All right, we'll just call him right now. What's that ringing? 
Joe, that ringing, it's coming from your back. It is. Holy crap! Dr. Hartman must have dropped his phone in Joe when he was looking at his spine. Oh, thank God. I've been hearing that ringing all week. I just thought I was losing my mind from lunatic screaming in my face. Your mother's a whore! I told you that in confidence, Gary. It's so great to have you back, Joe. You seem good as new. Yeah, it turns out Dr. Hartman's cell phone was pressing on my spinal cord, and that's what was causing my total paralysis. Yeah, sorry we dropped the ball for a while, which is the way we agreed we'd describe what we did to you, which hopefully makes it seem less heinous. It's all right, guys. I'm just glad to be back on my feet. Well, you know what I mean. <laughs> 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 <laughs>